Hi guys, as many of you already know, Nexus Mod Manager has been updated. There is a new version, version 0.6. The current latest version at the time of this video is 0.60.5. Now I have been testing an alpha version of this for quite some time, but it is now available in open beta. I am currently testing out the latest version because I am going to be making a whole new tutorial or series of tutorials for this latest version of Nexus Mod Manager. But I thought I would take this chance to discuss with you whether or not I feel you should make this leap, whether you should upgrade to the latest version. For those of you who are curious as to what it's offering, there are a couple of news articles on Nexus that outline it, but the, the short version is profiling has been added. This is a feature where you can set up one set of mods on one profile and then a completely different set of mods on another profile and quickly switch between them. This is a very powerful feature and it's something we have been using with tools such as Mod Organizer for quite some time. This is the reason Nexus Mod Manager has been rebuilt and the new version released. It handles modding completely differently from now on and it has added this option profiling to every single game it supports. This is a major, major leap forward and it was sort of an essential step for Nexus Mod Manager to take and it has taken it. Now I am not going to discuss the specifics of profiling in this video, I am going to leave that to the tutorials and to a special video I'm planning on making where I'm going to compare the profiling in Nexus Mod Manager with Mod Organizer and show the pros and cons of both. I will briefly mention here though that one of the features that should be coming sometime in the future is the ability to publish your profile and for others to download and use this profile. As you can imagine, this is a huge thing. This is, this is a massive development. This will mean we're gonna have a whole new type of contributor on Nexus in our modding community. People who just figure out which mods work well together, put them together on their own system get it working and then publish their profile and then other people can come along, just click a button, it will download to their Nexus Mod Manager, then their Nexus Mod Manager will go to all of the different mods on this profile, download them from Nexus and then install them on your system. You, you literally can imagine thinking, oh, I, I wonder what Gopher's profile is, I've seen it in his Let's Play, click on it, leave it for a few hours while it downloads every mod I have ever used, installs it, you come back and you now have a modded game that is identical to mine. I think you can see the advantages to this. There, there are also some disadvantages to that, but I'm going to leave that to a completely different video. But this feature is not actually available yet, it is coming. However, obviously this is pretty exciting and you might be thinking, yes, I'm gonna go off, I'm going to upgrade, I'm, I'm going to make the jump. And before you do, hear me out, because there are some things you should understand. The, the primary thing you should understand is that the way Nexus Mod Manager works has been completely and utterly redone. It's been rebuilt. So this is a major step. And if you're already using Nexus Mod Manager for a game and you want to upgrade to the latest version of Nexus Mod Manager, it may be a time consuming process. If you're just installing it to, you know, get ready for Fallout 4, it'll be fine. If you are installing it to upgrade version 0.5 of Nexus Mod Manager and you had a heavily modded version of something like Skyrim or Fallout New Vegas and you want to use it to, to carry on modding that, you may have some work on your hand. When you first install the latest version of Nexus Mod Manager, it will detect your old version and it will, it, will, it will warn you, it will say, we have got to convert your old modded game to the new system. And it has to do it. And then it'll sit there for a few hours, 
basically chugging through the the process and it will when it's finished hopefully have imported your entire uh, game to a new profile the problem is it doesn't always work it seems to be 50 50. some people get it working without any problems some people don't get it working or it, it works to some degree but is left in a state as you can see here where i'm having to do a little bit of further work to try and get it as it was now i have previously made a video where i show how to upgrade from version it, at the time it was 5.3 to the alpha of 0 0.6 i show how to get this working even if it goes a little bit wrong it's it's a half an hour video and i i will take you through the process including how to back it up and how to go back to the old version of Nexus Mod Manager if it all goes wrong. So it's pretty safe to do this, but it is time consuming. I will leave a link to this video. As far as I can see, it still seems relevant if you're going to be making this leap. You may find when you make this conversion, it works just fine and you don't have to do anything except a few pop-ups will come up and say, um, you know, when, when a mod has an installer, you will have to choose which options you want. But it may be the case where you'll find some files are missing or it's not quite installed correctly. I had some issues with, say, the Darnified files, Project Nevada, um, and I've had to do a bit of manual tweaking to get it working again. See this video if you want to see me go through the process in great detail. Now, I cannot tell you why some people are having problems, but I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to guess that it is people like me who have got ridiculously complicated uh, installation, uh, modding installations. I am not the sort of person who installed, you know, 50 mods one after another and then played the game. I have installed mods, uninstalled mods, updated mods, tweaked them, moved them around, uninstalled, reinstalled, left, right, and center. It, the, the old version of Nexus Mod Manager has almost certainly lost track of some of the things I did. I probably even went into the data folder myself and manually tweaked things, something I tell everyone else not to do, if at all possible. I have probably used and abused my data folder uh, beyond beyond repair and the new version of Nexus Mod Manager really can't figure out what the hell I did. Uh, it, for some people they well have just you know downloaded 100 mods and installed them one after another and Nexus Mod Manager might just be able to figure out exactly what they did and repeat it. For me it couldn't and this is not really Nexus Mod Manager's fault it's just a, a, a simple fact that the old system was not good enough at tracking what I did. The new system should be. I mean, that's part of the reason the whole tool has been redone. From now on, the, you, your profile will, profile will actually remember every step you took in installing your mods and will be able to repeat it. When you switch profiles, it will, it will switch everything back to how it was by following all of the steps you made, which is, you know, its major plus point. Now, the good news is you can actually run Nexus Mod Manager, the latest version, and the old version. Just install them to different folders. I have been doing that for the last six months. I have Witcher 2 and Witcher 3 being modded by 0.54 and Fallout New Vegas modded by 0.6. It works just fine. So if you want to install the latest version of Nexus Mod Manager to mod Fallout 4 or any of the, the new games you're going to mod, such as Witcher 3, you can do so. Just when it goes along to the, you know, the rescan installed games, don't select anything other than the one game you want, the one game you want the new version to actually manage, you know. So just choose which games each version of Nexus Mod Manager is going to handle, and you should be fine. The downside to this is only one version will be linked to the Nexus page, so when you click Download with Manager, it will, it will open one version of Nexus Mod Manager. So I have Witcher 3, Witcher 2 um, connected to my 
0.54 Nexus Mod Manager and when I click those it opens Nexus Mod Manager the correct version. But for Fallout mods I have to download them by hand and add them by hand. That is the downside of doing that. However, there is one other option. You, you don't have to use both tools. You don't have to use the import tool. There is another option and it is by far the safer option and to some degree it may even be the least time consuming option. Um, and that is uninstall all of your mods. Just uninstall absolutely every single one of them. You don't have to delete them, just uninstall them. Then upgrade to the latest version of Nexus Mod Manager. When it does the conversion, it will it will copy the mods to all the correct places, but it will not install any of them because you had none of them installed. And then install them all from scratch in the correct order and get it working. Obviously, that will take several hours. It may actually not be that much longer than if you follow the process to do the conversion and have to fix things. And it is it is simpler. So that's that's going to be another option for those of you who really want to convert your old games to the new mod manager. So there you go. I wish I had better news for you. I wish I could tell you this process was absolutely simple, um, but I, I can't tell you that for sure. It might be. You might install it and all of your modded games might get converted to the new system without any problems whatsoever, but it might not. Again, I will leave a link to the earlier video I did where I show you exactly how to convert and how to make sure everything is working. It is, you know, 30 minutes long. Uh, feel free to use that if you want, you know, help getting it across. Uh, good luck with the process. Uh, I hope it goes well for you and uh, I hope you manage to make the leap because as I said, it does look very exciting. I will be making a video in the in the near future where I discuss the advantages of the new profiling system and how it compares to something like Mod Organizer. And of course, I am planning on making a either one big tutorial or a series of tutorials showing Nexus Mod Manager for, you know, people who are very very new to modding. Obviously, this is going to be quite useful for people who join us uh, with the uh, the launch of Fallout 4. So, uh, expect quite a few Nexus Mod Manager related videos in the near future. And with that, I will uh, once again wish you good luck and I'll see you soon.